on Canada's Next Top Model. The arriving finalists are given an early scare. Half of you are going home right now. And a surprise. You will love and earn the competition. After a wild photo shoot, one model shocks the girls when she abruptly quits the competition. Pain. Three models earn an extreme adventure, while the other seven freeze out the winners. We're kind of cozy without them. And settle into the loft. Life without drama. In judging, Jill gets a dressing down. The shoes are hideous, the outfit isn't great. But it's Tiffany who's the first to go. Nine girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? Today was really stressful. Chill. I mean, I thought I was going home, and my emotions were actually like bouncing around in my head, just intense. It was really intense. Okay, I like couldn't even handle myself. I don't cry that much. And when he called my name instead of Tiffany's name, I just started bawling my eyes out because I really wasn't expecting it. So now that I'm here for another week, I'm definitely gonna try and step my game up, that's for sure. I did not think Tiffany was gonna go home at all. Okay, so this is enough from Tiffany, guys. Love Although it's guys. been only a week, we got very, very close. She was like, she was like my best friend in the house. There's Tiffany. like a tear on the Oh my like, god. Do you want me to pin this up on the board yes, upstairs? Yeah. yeah. Come, let's go. I miss her like a lot. I love you, Tiff. When I was standing up there with Tiffany, I was like, oh god, Tiffany's gorgeous. Like, I just don't see Jill. As a model, just something for me doesn't add up. And white, like the contrast really looks great on me. This is actually happening. Yeah. People are getting picked off. We've been up since six o'clock. Oh my god, we've almost been up for 24 hours straight. Ten thirty alarm. Ten thirty. Good night. Wake up, you're under arrest. Come on, let's go. You've all committed crimes of fashion. When I saw Nolay, I thought he was a real cop, and I was like, whoa, what's going on? Great, three hours of sleep. This is ridiculous. When we walked into the courtroom, I had no idea. I just thought maybe somebody would come in, but then I went, wait a second, I think there's somebody in that chair. You've all violated section J212 of the fashion code. J212 of the fashion code states it is a top model's supreme duty to look fabulous at all times. It's makeovers! <laughs> Rebecca, what's going on with this hair? You are going blonde and short like the supermodel Agnes. Sentenced. Ebony. Those hair extensions are gone. Cinnamon colored, Halle Berry short, wispy in every direction. Lindsay, you are gonna have to channel one of my favorite top models of all time, Miss Linda Evangelista. Sentenced, Miriam, blunt cut, very old Vidal Sassoon, own it. Tara, considerably shorter with a big long sweeping bang. Jill, old Deborah Harry with a modern twist, short to hear. Sentence, Megan, a more graphic frame to your face. Blonde and long. Nikita, Betty Page, short bangs, blunt to hear. Sentence, Heather, strawberry blonde, and we are going to bleach out your eyebrows. Okay. Sentence, it starts right now. Well, welcome, girls. Good How are you feeling? Good. Good. 
We're here at Holt's Salon and Spa, and ladies, it's makeover day. And guess what, girls? You will not see your looks until the very end, because all the mirrors are gonna be covered. So you wanna get started? How long is Ebony doing? I'm doing great. Yeah? I'm feeling lighter. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Goodbye, hair. Deborah Harry, one of my favorites. The style that I'm gonna get, I think it's gonna be so much fun. They could have shaved off my head and I would have been like, yes, let's do it. Because I've just always been the girl with the big curly hair and now my big curly hair is in a garbage somewhere. Today, I chose for you Perfect 10 from Nice and Easy in 10 minutes only. That's the color, it's make your hair very amazing. Oh, yay, yay. So you start by the front. So that's very easy to do it. Just the touch, yeah. and that's it. That's easy. Today I'm getting my hair chopped off. This is my security blanket. I'm excited because I would never get this haircut on my own. I wouldn't have the guts. Oh, oh my goodness. Put your hands to your hair, put your hands to your hair. <laughs> Perfect, so now we... So let's try the number four on her. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Huh? This is a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this color though. Everything about this haircut I'm in love with. It smells so clean. I know, I love it. Like Threading is an ancient technique that we use to actually uh, take away the hair on your face. I can pick up one hair at a time or a bunch of hairs at a time. So it feels a little bit like a zipper. It's gonna just hurt a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. So I know it's a little bit painful for her, but do you wanna go up just to yeah. and see how oh it goes? My God. It already makes a major difference. I just don't want to cry. <laughs> wow, this is amazing already. You should oh see the God. difference. <laughs> Giving it more of a severe cut okay, than yeah, what you have now. Okay, like my character is that, like, you know, I'm Persian, that hair should be, like, brown, black. So I knew that they're not going to color it in, like, blonde, but I love my hair color. Just love it. Shiny, beautiful, and really light, <laughs> and really fashionable. Jay told me I was gonna get long blonde hair. They did a pre-lightener, toner, lighter again, then toned it, base color on, toned it, highlights, then toned it, blew it out, added the extensions. The longest I've ever had to sit in a salon chair. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Why are you putting your hands up? Because of my braces. No, I love it. <laughs> Jay said that I was gonna be a modern day Betty Page. So he said that he was gonna give me short bangs and lots of geometric shapes and angles and a really blunt haircut. I'm open to change, so like totally whatever. Just I don't care. You look great. Yeah. What the f is on my head? Honest. I mean, whatever, it's hair, it'll grow back mm -hmm. if, it's, if I really yeah. don't like it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm nervous. Come on over here. Oh, sh And here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> it's very model y. Yes. Um, it's um, very model y. I really don't like the short bangs. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. Do you love it? I love it. I hate it's just... short bangs. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. Like, whatever. I think I'm going to feel retarded in front of the camera now because any confidence that I had is gone. <laughs> Jay had planned for me a Halle Berry cut, really short hair, and to lighten it so that it will match my skin color. I just don't think her hair is healthy enough to really do the process that me and Jay had created in the beginning. It didn't work out because my hair was too weak, 
They couldn't color it, so <laughs> they just put the weave back on, uh, which I was okay with, but I really, really wished like I would have had a major transformation because this is not major for me. Ebony doesn't like her hair because she thinks that she doesn't look like a top model. Rebecca most definitely had the biggest transformation. Oh my god! It's just so different. It's gonna take a while for me to just get used to and look in the mirror and be like, this is who I am now. Heather, she's pretty upset. I think a shy bit lighter. Yeah, like one full level. Yeah, one, yeah. They completely bleached off her eyebrows, so she just kind of looks like she's albino. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's very high fashion, and I had no idea that my look was going to be like that. Not every day you go to the salon and the mirrors are covered and you have to, you know, just put your trust completely in the hairdressers and Jay. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look at me. I really, really, really love it and I feel like it's a lot like me. It's my personality. It can be edgy, it can be flirty, it can be sexy, it can be anything. Rebecca and Lindsay with short hair. I really, really wished like I would have had that type of hair. I think all of our haircut for photo shoots and stuff is excellent. I think it's the fact that everyday life, it's going to be more difficult to get used to it. I wasn't feeling better when everyone told me you look great because I don't care what people think. I feel that it looks dumb. She got into the car. She completely freaked out about it. I gotta go like this and then straight on my forehead. Like, look, look at this box. It matches. <laughs> and I have to wear this chopped up piece of on my face. Like, I'm hideous. Who wants to look at you with your bangs like this? Where's the attraction? I'm so ugly. <laughs> no one's gonna like this. <laughs> All of the hairdressers said that they absolutely loved it, blah, blah, blah. And then all the other girls said they liked it. But Jill and Heather told me the truth, that it was hideous, and they hated it. OK, I understand it's like not a natural haircut, but you don't look ugly. So. I look like a muffin. <laughs> I look like a muffin! Let's get a, get a close-up on this. Bam. Today, we had our makeovers. <laughs> and? and they chopped my hair off. Uh, it looks so good, Mom. Bam. Bam. Mm, mm. Like fierce and I love it. I was just shocked. Like when when you're sitting in the chair, you're kind of picturing what you think it's gonna look like. So I already thought that I knew what I was gonna look like and I don't look like myself. I don't know if this is high fashion, but I look like an alien. Mom, they didn't give me the makeover they wanted to give me. They wanted to dye my hair caramel and have it Halle Berry short, but my hair is so weak, they couldn't dye it. So Ebony, they just put weave in it. There's five of us waiting to do our confession so we can go to bed. This is like my moment to like, cry and then I go out of the room Ebony. and I wipe my tears and I'm okay. The thing is, is that like, Sitting here, you guys look sweet. You look cute. I mean, your hair is up, but you guys look normal. <laughs> like, she's always like, F this, F that, do this. I'm like, can you watch your mouth? Tara was talking about some chick who she definitely does not like, and I overheard her say, but she's nice to them. What the f? But she's. You did your hair. What did you do to okay, it? Wait, what do you mean? I back combed it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it looks worse. I know. I <laughs> You do look like a muppet. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is June Ambrose. She is a stylist, a celebrity stylist. Really, your title is you're the architect of, of style. style. One of the things that June does oh so well is interpreting what that final look is. It's not just about grabbing a dress and sticking it on. It's about becoming a brand yourself as a top model and understanding what your personal style is. So we're in H&M, which is a great place to shop because you find amazing fashion that is current, it's trendy, and it's a, it's a great price and quality. It's one of those stores that you can pick up something and make it look like it was a thousand dollars. On this table, over to our right, are nine very different items. When I say you're gonna grab an item, and then you have the full use of the store to build an outfit around one of these items. What June is gonna be looking for is how you interpret what your brand and your style should be now that you've had your makeovers. So you guys ready, right? 15 minutes. Go! All right, June. Go do your thing. Those are too big. The style Nazis here. Honestly, it was just like a stampede. I only had 15 minutes from go, so grab something and work with it. Make it work. I suck it, there. No. Ah. So which was your piece? What was your thing? Five you oh, minutes, oh, everyone. Apropos, apropos. H&M store was like three floors, so if you wanted to, you know, grab something from the other side, you had to run for like five minutes to get it. Dad? Yeah, Dad. Okay. I found everything that I was looking for and it was just matching. All right, one minute left. And right there, one minute, and I'm like, I thought we looked fine, but then the looks on June and Jay's face, like, they were just horrified by us. Fashion isn't easy, is it? Okay, Miriam, you grab the hat. What is this concoction oh, going on? Oh, no. oh, my what do you do? You overdose. Every you accessory. pick the right accessory, that one punctuation, where you could have grabbed a simple black dress and been super chic. Okay, Miss Boho Nikita. What's up? <laughs> I love the tights. Well, that's what we gave her. Oh, We well, gave her the tights. Okay. All right, Rebecca, talk me through this look. I grabbed the pants because I thought the androgynous look, and I thought the jacket would be nice. And the big glasses, I thought, really went well with my new hair. Yeah, I love that you are thinking head to toe. I would have loved to see her in a pair of pumps, because she had them on early, and she took, I watched her taking them off, and I was like, no! Ebony. Now, you grabbed the swimsuit, correct? There are a few issues, but I'm not mad at the execution. Jill. My accessory was the bow. Hello, bow, right here. This is how you wear a bow. So we are gonna have Emily come in from H&M. This is Emily, everybody. Hi. Good morning, girls, and welcome to H&M. We're really excited to have you here with us today, and especially to get one of these great prizes, including this fabulous Matthew Williamson dress, which is part of the Matthew Williamson for H&M High Summer Collection. Who's the winner, June? Well, I, I chose this person because she's living the moment, and as she's standing there, I feel the attitude and the energy. So the winner is Rebecca. <laughs> So, Rebecca, you get a $2,500 shopping card for H&M that you can start using right now. You're being kind of like tomboyish, you said? More androgynous, like. So we need to pick up some feminine pieces. So yeah. that when you walk into your go-sees, that you a little bit, they think when they're thinking androgynous, you let them know I can be very feminine. OK. Today was a good day. Yay! I still love my hair. And I won the challenge. Go me! Jamel! Jamel! What did it say? Modeling is a balancing act. Can you climb your way to the top and work your new look? Ooh. Maybe we shoot on the tower. Oh my god. <laughs> There was like five male models there, and I think we all kind of like clued into the fact that we're gonna be on top of ladders with hot guys. Good morning, girls. We're here at the Art Gallery of Ontario, recently transformed by Frank Gehry. Today's photo shoot is going to be your first photo shoot with your new look, and it's all about balance. You girls will be wearing high-end designer Italian clothes, and you will have to model those clothes 
on these ladders and working with these male models. All right, girls, let's get you into hair and makeup. And when you're down there, why don't you use your time wisely and really think about what you're gonna do. I'm in like six inch heels. I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana right now, which is amazing, because when would I ever wear this at home? Like, oh. Some gifts. Some gifts. It's like Christmas. Wow. What else is in there? Let me see. These are the new Crest white strips that are really easy to use. You can drink water with these and you can oh, really? you know, use them at any time. You should really start with these now. They'll really help like pop your white teeth, especially with your new beautiful blonde hair. Everyone's Oops. teeth can go a little lighter. Teeth are very important as a top model, especially white teeth. That's it, Sparkle. <laughs> Today's photo shoot is all about balancing. These ladders to work with on set today, okay. and you need to balance yourself on these ladders. Right here, that's it. Now you're that's working, nice. now that's you're working. Nice. Great. <laughs> Woo! I've never actually been to the AGO. This is my first time even in Toronto, but so far I love it. Balancing. balancing. Okay, you need to really balance. Rebecca could not find her balance at all. I even gave her a simple pose to do, and still in that simple pose, she fell short. My shoot was all right. I just think I could have done a lot better. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Paul, you're gonna catch me, right? Okay, great. I was really nervous when I first came up onto the ladder because it was really wobbly. But I was like, whatever, he'll catch me. So I walked up two more steps and um, yeah, hopefully I rocked it. Great. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Just a little, open your lips a little. Nikki, I want one leg off the ladder. Nice, nice, chin down a little, chin down. Great, show the ring, baby. Great, 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 Gorgeous. great, great. Um. Nikita has a little bit of an attitude problem. But she came on set, she found her position, and she gave me some really strong shots. The hair is good for her. Oh, really? Can you tell her that? Yeah, the hair is good for her. Was crying, yeah. That's Ooh. good. I was just in a country that I couldn't even, you know, uh, think about modeling. I just, you know, I thought, okay, I have the height, I have the look, I have the body, but, you know, I, ha I don't have the right to speak even. <laughs> That's phenomenal. I want you to do that. That is so vogue. Great, that's good. But that's why good. don't you just relax right now? Because we're, we're, not, we're not ready. I have all these ideas. I can see, mind. you know, you're just like Cirque du Soleil for, for, <laughs> for movements over here. I go to gym every day and I practice. My muscles are not big, but I'm very strong. That's perfect, huh? That's really nice. Let's talk about Miriam. Is she not Spider Girl? This girl was all over the set. I, she was scaring me, but she really landed some exotic poses. Today's the first photo shoot that we get to play around with our new hair, new look, and today we actually get to pair it with really high fashion. You're reaching for the top modeled gold. Okay. Thank you, Nolay. Gorgeous, Live. gorgeous. You're a piece of art in the air. I just adore Megan. She's so sweet, so polite, definitely understands clothing. But Megan still has not mastered the facial expressions and the entire embodiment of what a top model is. In the shoes I'm wearing, platform on them is like that, and the heel, so it's hard to balance. Down, eyes here. I, I, your eye level's not up with the sky. You have to stop, just say stop. Remember, you're modeling. Okay, give me two seconds, please. Like, awesome. Some of those were pretty funny. I ain't gonna sit there and lie to you. Those faces you made were kind of funny. So, but I think it went well, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tara. Very nice. Nice, beautiful, that was really pretty. Give me some face. Pull that, that shoulder down a little bit. Tara. She definitely gives you beauty, she gives you elegance, and I think Tara really is that little secret girl that we have to watch. She definitely wants to climb to the top. That's nice, Tito. That's nice. beautiful. Gorgeous. You know, Lindsay really is surprising me. I wasn't really sure, but at the end, we found something absolutely amazing for her. That's good, but I don't like the arm like that. I like the arm more, more like, you know, stronger. The balancing was okay, but I just didn't feel very confident about the photo shoot. Nice, thank Got you. Got you, thank you. Nice. Gorgeous. At 
Ebony, she really surprised me today. She really took control of her shoot. She was moving the ladders around, working with her partner, and she gave great poses. I am impressed, Ebony. Yeah, Ebony. Definitely take control of the situation. Today I had a really good shoot, and it's actually my first, like, good shoot. So I think I did a pretty good job today. Tonight? That's like sleep. So nice to be home. What are these? Oh my god, you guys, you got gifts. Oh, look at all the stuff you got. That's awesome. You guys, Shimmering. I have an eyebrow pencil. Yeah! Everyone is so friendly, and we were kind of saying, oh, it's like a sleepover. She takes beautiful pictures, but her voice really bothers me. You know, when I hear it, I don't think I sound like a 12-year-old, so I just laugh it off. It's not a big deal. And her personality is re comes across really fake to me, and I don't see her winning it. Tara's hilarious. I absolutely love her. She's just someone that tells it like it is, and I love that about her. The verdict on your new looks is in. Some of you rose the new heights, others simply fell flat. Tomorrow, you face the gallery of judges. I expect you to look cover girl perfect. Yeah. Someone's going home. Cool. <laughs> We're all in it to win. We're all in it for the same prize in the end. And we all know that there will only be one of us. I think I'm more focused on other girls because they don't realize that this is a really big deal and uh, it's just like unbelievable. So I got this chance, I'm gonna focus on it and you know, see what happens. Yeah. But you have to rock it. Like don't, you know, be shy and be like, mm, rock this look. Like I realizing, okay, like all the other girls want it as bad as me. So seriously, I wanna like kill everyone. on my fat. Last week, I thought I sucked, right? And the judges loved my picture, so I was like, okay. And this week, I, I think I got a great shot, but they might hate it. Wow. Wow, look at you guys. I am so excited. I just saw models walk into the room. So you guys are one step closer to our amazing prizes. First is a modeling contract with top agency, Elmer Olsen Models, an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine, and then you know the big one, a $100,000 contract with P&G Beauty, makers of Perfect 10 by Nice and Easy, and Crest White Strips. Now, of course, helping me with this difficult decision today are our knowledgeable judges. First, highly sought after fashion and celebrity photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Oh my God, you guys look amazing. Supermodel of the world, Miss Yasmin Warsame. Hi girls, you look fantastic, wow. Fashion editor and journalist, Miss Jeannie Becker. I barely recognize some of you, wow. And our special guest judge this week, author and celebrity stylist, and someone giving us many things today, Ms. June Ambrose. Well, I have to say, these girls are giving me punctuation. So you know what? It is time for your individual assessments. And first up is Lindsay. I am loving this outfit head to toe, and you probably had one of the more radical haircuts. How are you feeling about it right now? I love it. The spark has been lit. <laughs> okay. Very nice. I love that. The shorter haircut makes you look so much more youthful. Now, this week, you literally had a bit of a balancing act to do in your photo shoot. Let's take a look at your best shot. This was probably one of the more risky shots. You were the only one who really didn't have eye contact with the camera. It's very important because that's how you draw the person who's looking at the picture to you. And I, if I saw that, I would want this skirt. I mean, I, I wouldn't have a clue who you are because I can't really see yeah, you. Yeah, especially with the hair, I guess. I <laughs> but I'd like the skirt. Mind. There may not be eye contact, but I mean, there's definitely a chemistry going on between her with the partner. You could have cheated your face a little bit. You could have played coy. Look how I'm playing coy with Yasmin right now. But I'm giving you face, though, at yeah. the same time. See? 
<laughs> oh, shut up, Jude. <laughs> this is a marked improvement from last week. Okay, thank Wonderful. you. All right, Megan, you're next. How are you feeling with your new hair? I'm getting used to it. Let's take a look at your best shot. <laughs> you know what I love here? Last week in all your frames, you were clenched, hiding your braces. I'm looking at this photo. I wouldn't know if you had braces or not. I am fierce with or without my braces. We'll set you free. You know, you did something which is really great. You're in a difficult position, but you make it look easy. Obviously a great uh, body awareness. I, I think the face, to me, gorgeous, but maybe a little vacant. I think Jeannie's asking for a little more grr out of you. All right, Ebony, you're next. I'm afraid to see the picture a little bit. Why are you afraid to see your picture this week? Um, because last week I thought I did really, really bad and you guys ended up liking my picture and this week I feel like I did good. Well, let's take a look at your best shot. And look at the screen, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's very, like, Dovima. Yeah, that's, you're, you're giving me that old, like, Avedon. I love that. And the way you brought your hand up, there is an emotion there that looks beautiful. Nole, I felt that you worked very well on the ladders and with your partner. All right, Jill, you're next. You look very soft, pretty, and feminine. Uh, can you take your hair out of your ponytail for yeah, me? Can you just pull it, it out? it might not be super straight. <laughs> Let's take a look at your uh, best shot. This, to me, looks like a model. Looking at this photo compared to last week, you've grown leaps and bounds. But do you feel like a model? When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you see a model? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's kind of a hard question. Look, like, Turner, I do, they don't even believe you behind you. I, know, see your I, face. Don't, I, don't I think you should think I'm under construction, but my building will be sensational when it's done. You know what I mean? You start selling units, honey. You have to sell units while the building's under construction. <laughs> All right, Tara, you're next. I love the body language here. To me, it screams high fashion. This could be on the pages of any European high fashion magazine, for sure. Do you know who designed that dress? Before you put anything on your back, find out who designed it. Give the designer credit. Well, no late though, you were so wonderful to work with and you were the one to watch underlined in this competition. Okay? Thank you. Rebecca, if anyone could recognize you, you're next. Wow. <laughs> you have gone from looking every day to looking like a model. Oh, I love the little pose, little Vogue. You were also the challenge winner this week. Let's take a look at uh, your best shot and see if you carried that transformation over to your photo shoot. Hello. <laughs> I mean, do, we, do I even have to say it? Come on. Twiggy. It's so twiggy. Can we go in for a close up? I love that you took a risk oh, with the facial the expression. Eyes. I love the boo boo doll. Obviously, this is really outside the box. I think it's great if the photographer encouraged you to do that. But I, sometimes you could get your hand slapped. You're being a model here. And when I flash back to your photo last week, yeah, there was remember? something surreal oh. about it. And it spoke of a style that is. Bravo, I love it, but I, I'm just afraid that I, I don't want to keep seeing this style because you could fall into that as a crutch too. You must have known you were going to look like Twiggy in that picture. But can you do you? Can you do a beautiful picture with you and your face without having to pretend to be anyone else? Make sense? Yeah. All right, Miriam, you're next. Work. Yeah, it, it is very kind of fabulous, right? Where are you, Miriam? I see the guy a lot. He's draped over his shoulder. Can you punch up oh. her close up first? Yeah. Now, last week I didn't see the dress. This week you've got a dude in front of the dress, and the dress is all wrinkled up, and I'm not seeing the front of the dress. I really want to see the dress. I tried that, but I tried this too, because he said, you know, you have to fly, so I tried both to see. But then he came out of nowhere and blocked two shots. You have to be on your top game in every single frame because you never know which one is going to be picked. And then your best shot, as Yasmin so eloquently put, the dude was in your frame. <laughs> All right, Nikita, you are next. Come up here, my little Betty Page. You were probably a little thrown by your makeover. You said, I don't know how I'm going to work this bang yet. I honestly, I never hated it. I'm used to the black. I'm used to having layers because I normally have big rock star hair. That sounds scary. Let's take a look at your best photo. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, look, wow. Okay, look at your face, Nikita. What are you thinking? I want to hear what Nikita thinks first. Damn, you got cheekbones. Uh, hello. <laughs> Punch in for a close up, wow. people. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. 
That's a cover. I put that on a cover. Absolutely. Did you hear that? This is from a fashion editor who has been in fashion for 24 Whoa. years. Oh, time. <laughs> Since before you were born. Well, wow. Well, Body language, face, wow. you're working the hair and the clothes, and it's all coming together. It's beautiful. No, Lay, he said you really impressed him. However, he felt that you have a tendency to complain on set. And last but not least, Heather, you're patiently waiting back there. Okay, Heather, I've been dying to say this since you walked in the room. I love your dress. Hey. Thank goodness. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at your best shot, Heather. Did we just talk about the, how the ankles are crossed? Oh, and look at the, the leg across. Yes. Oh, so fierce. Fierce. And I hate the word fierce. Okay, it, but this is fierce. That is gorgeous. And the hand. What I love about the photograph is the delicacy. You almost feel the breath, you know, that, that she's taking there. And We've all established that you might be a little bashful in person. You should try and kind of imagine, like, what it is you're thinking to draw that out of you. Um, I'm not a shy person. I just take a while to warm up, so uh -huh. I'm trying. Thank Thanks, you. Heather. Well, I gotta tell you guys, really a valiant effort here. You made some great strides this week in terms of your individual style. But now it's time for the judges to deliberate. So when I call you back in, I will be letting you guys know which one of you will be going home. The transformations are... So surreal. Yeah. So surreal. Well, why don't you get surreal on Lindsay? I think that hair do is a good one. She looks fabulous. I'm not loving this picture that much. She looks way more youthful and way more competitive now, in my opinion. Megan. Yes. I could see her taking our advice and trying. She didn't, she didn't nail it. I, I'm still not sold on her modeling ability, but uh, I'd like to see more. June, what do you think of Ebony? What I love about Ebony is the fierceness that came out. But again, I still feel a wall. She is absolutely petrified of failing. Jill. I don't like anything about this picture. It just looks awkward and amateurish to me. At this stage of the game, she is a real diamond in the rough. How long does it take to create a brilliant diamond? Tara. I love the photo. We also felt that she didn't connect with the outfit. It's as if the advice we've given her went right over her head. Right over her head. Rebecca. I love the impression of Twiggy she did. But if you wanted Twiggy, you would call Twiggy and hire her. Hire Twiggy, and I love her to death, and she knows that. But really, really, <laughs> you ain't gonna get Twiggy's look out of Twiggy now. I'm not sure that she is right for a model, though. Are you nuts? She... Really? Not about what? We're always asking models to be, you know, actresses and yeah. bring something. If all you're like acting, I'm like an actress. That doesn't make me a model. Miriam. Her directive for this shoot was to sell the dress. She should never even have tried this. Miriam was the photo of the week last week, but yes, it's clear right here. She overthought everything, and at the end of the day, as you said, the dude was in our shop. Heather, I'm a bit concerned about, as strong as her pictures are, in person, she, so she sounds like the kind of, like, you know that, the actress that finally, the, like, you know, she like went into the <laughs> oh. talk. She's got to have presence. Nikita. Jeannie, you said it would be the cover of a magazine. I, I am in love with this photo. She's totally in the running for me again. We've got some amazing girls here. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be so tough, is already so tough. I see it all over your faces, but I think we've made that decision. This was a tough judging. I didn't expect the competition to get this tough this quickly. But I still only have eight photos in my hands. And these eight photos represent the eight young girls who will continue on in hope of becoming Canada's next top model. First name I'm going to call, and the photo of the week, without any doubt in the judges' minds, Nakia. Thank you. <laughs> I want to put this on my wall. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Thank you all. The next name I'm going to call? Heather. I didn't even fall down. You didn't fall. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. The next name I'm going to call? Ebony. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Star. Big sigh of relief there. Yeah, thank you, Jay. This is where things got tough. Big arguments. Next name. Lindsay. You present yourself like a model now. The judges want to see more. Okay. The next name I'm going to call? Megan. You scream model when you walk in the room. The reason you're here is because model doesn't translate into your photos. But we believe it's there. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Top of the week last week. Now you're in the bottom three. We feel that you might be overanalyzing. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Well, Rebecca and Jill, please step forward. There's a lot of discussion here. Who truly has the staying power? Some people argue that it's passion, Jill. Do you have that passion? And this is the second week in a row you're in the bottom two. Rebecca, it is gonna be asked of you time and time again, find an inspiration. You chose Twiggy this week. Where was Rebecca in your photo this week? Whoever's name I do not call must immediately go back to the house, pack their bags, and go home. Rebecca. Acting is one thing. Let's see you. You got another chance. Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thanks, Rebecca. Jill, you made it this far? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna keep trying? We'll see. <laughs> I would have loved to have heard, yes. <laughs> I guess I didn't really realize that everyone was looking for someone who like would give up everything to kind of become a model and honestly I really wouldn't. This is kind of a relief. I'm going to miss going to cool new places and doing the things that you do get to do as a model. It's going to be nice to just like go home and be able to see my family.